Hey there, this is Dolphin with another Lunatic Cultist fight. This time with the Nebula armor I crafted after the last Moonlord fight. And everything is pretty much the same as last fight, except uh, here's one emblem where I reforged from uh, armor to, to damage wise. So I've got in total 5% more damage, but that's not that much of a difference. The real difference is the Nebula. Um, and two things. First, this is daylight, so I want to see how well the visibility of the true cultist versus the copies is. And um, I will use the Razor Blade Typhoon again because it's fire and forget. And the Nebula armor spawns power ups, so not only is the game with this fight dodging attacks, but also looking where the power ups are and collecting them. So those two things will keep me quite busy. And if you then use a weapon that you need to aim, that's a bit tricky. So that is the setup. No dragon, just like last time. The Luna, the portal stuff, by the way, I tried out a bit. It has quite the knockback and uh, spreads very widely. Um, I don't like it that much. It keeps enemies uh, alive quite a long time. It just repels a bit. Okay. Let's start this. the day the real cult is, is better visible. The copies are actually very ah, This fight is quite difficult to keep the power-ups active. Not that many power-ups. I mean, you don't have them. You need to have them active all the time, but uh, they stack. So this looked like... I mean, okay. It wasn't that bad. But it looked... Like not ideal. Okay. Um, that was that. And the moon next Moonlord fight coming up, I will... Still, one more time, use the Spectro armor because I want to uh, make a comparison. Uh, I want to see how much the Spectre with the healing works. Well, that will be in the next video. It will be another interesting comparative try. Okay, then see you in the next video.